Hello everyone, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to a very exciting video. Truly, I am so excited. I've just had the time of my life in Sainsbury. <laughs> I said it, I'm putting it on the internet. It was joyful. As you know, supermarket shopping has been a little bit different recently and Sainsbury's reached out to me. I'm actually one of their tastemakers, which means I get kept up to date with some new releases. I get to try some new bits and bobs from the Sainsbury's line and they reached out with a very lovely gift card so I could head in store and grab some bits and bobs and I thought, you know what, we need to do a big grocery shop because we've just got back from holiday. So I thought, let's just fill the fridge, fill the cupboards and also try out some of the new bits in Sainsbury's. So a massive shout out and a huge thank you to those guys for helping me try out some new bits which I'm very excited about. We went to the Sainsbury's in Streatham which is super close to us and wow, we got a lot. Guys, this is the biggest, this is the biggest grocery shop I've ever done and I'm very excited about it. Let me show you. But before we get cracking, if you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Luke. I provide videos on the internet that are everything from food to uh, meal ideas to vlogs and all that good stuff. So hello and um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do give the video a thumbs up. Let's get cracked. So let me just give you some context. This is all of the uh, like deli, dry store, um, dairy, that kind of stuff. And then this is all of our fresh fruit and veg. As you um, may know, if you are a regular viewer, we are vegetarian. And also we've got some drinks going on over here. So this is, there's a lot guys. We've got a lot to get through. The receipt was rather large. As you can see, we got a huge grocery shop. The total was £114.86. So there was quite a lot in there. However, as you can tell, we have got a lot, which is very exciting, and some new bits to try. So I'm gonna start with fruit and veg. As I've said, myself and Zara are vegetarian, and there's some staple fruits and veggies that we always buy week in, week out, but we've got some new bits as well, so let's get into it. This is enough for about nine meals, breakfast, lunches, and dinners, so there's a lot going on. I'm gonna run through some meal ideas as well with you guys to get some inspiration. So the first thing I picked up was these large flat white mushrooms and these are absolutely fantastic. We're gonna make a mushroom wellington. It's like a Sunday roast idea. It's getting into like roast weather now, so picked up some of those. I also got some of these white seedless grapes. These are really delicious. We pop them in smoothies. We blend them up to make our green juice on a morning. Herbs, I got some fresh thyme. I was gonna get a thyme plant, but I can never seem to keep it alive and this was like 50p, so I got some fresh thyme. And I also picked up some of this lamb's lettuce salad, um, really nice just to have with, you know, like quiche or some kind of tart. I also picked up some red onions. These just, we fly through these at no tomorrow, so I picked up some classic red onions and a big basil plant. Now this we can keep alive. Our basil plant sadly did die while we were on holiday, so I had to pick up a new one, but this, oh my God. I always recommend buy fresh basil and keep it alive and it's just, it's delicious. Other things, classic set of bananas. We pop these in smoothies, like I say. I always get the green ones because they ripen up really well. We picked up some of these. These are just some raspberries. We have these granola on a morning and yogurt. Really, really tasty. Uh, got some white onions again. We use these in like pasta sauces. Honestly, white and red onions, we fly through them. I also got a leek that we're gonna pop into the chestnut wellington as well. I got a big, big sack of potatoes because we're gonna be doing some bangers and mash. As you can tell, we're going for more autumnal meals now, guys. So yeah, big old thing of potatoes. I also got some closed cut mushrooms because we just got back from Greece and we're gonna do mushroom and pepper gyros, which kind of like flatbreads. And apparently these chestnut mushrooms are the best ones to get, so picked up some of those. I also got this massive bunch of organic carrots. And I know it's kind of fancy with the stalks on, but I just thought, you know what, let's go for them. Let's do something a little bit special. So I'm gonna honey roast these for the roast dinner that we're gonna do with a little bit of maple syrup as well. So they're gonna be so tasty. I got some Granny Smith apples. This is what we pop in our green juice. These are just so, so good. Literally bang one of those up, pop them in the blender and it is tip top. I got some cherry tomatoes. These are just some basic cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna to pop these in a pasta sauce. Um, I'm actually gonna make that this evening, which is gonna be Gigi Hadid's vodka pasta sauce. Gigi Hadid is like a model and um, apparently it's absolutely delicious. So I'll leave that recipe linked down below. And I also picked up some avocados. These are just medium avocados, ripe and ready to eat. I got a courgette because we're gonna be doing our classic three cheese pasta. This is a large courgette actually. A lot of peppers, as I said, we're gonna be doing a gyro, which is like a vegetarian Greek dish. Also we're gonna be doing a Thai red curry, so obviously you need lots of peppers for that. I also picked up some lettuce. Those are gonna go on the gyros as well. These are just baby gem lettuce. And then I got two passatas. These were 50p each, just really good to have. Oh, whoops, just really good to have in the cupboard. So I got two of those. Um, also some more fresh fruit and veg. Picked up some tender some broccoli. I absolutely love this stuff. It's always a treat when I get it. So I'm gonna have that with my roast dinner. 
parsnips, again, absolutely love these. We're going to roast those with the carrots for a Sunday roast. So good. I'm excited it's now roast season. Cucumber, self-explanatory, really awesome to have in a salad. I picked up some of these, which is the Taste of the Difference Sundream Plum Vine Tomatoes. I just thought these look absolutely delicious, so got some of those. Two gigantic bags of spinach. One of these is for smoothies, so we do a handful of that on a morning and pop it in the blender. And then the second bag is going to be for a spinach and ricotta stuffed conchiglioni, which is fantastic. And then the last fruit and veg that we've got are these baby corn and monge to pack for the Thai red curry. So it's really, really nice to mix those up with the peppers and it's just joyous. Drinks, we got two bottles of wine, orange juice and a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I just think, you know what? Balance, balance is key. <laughs> and we pop orange juice as the base of our smoothie, so I add a little bit into the blender, and usually a carton lasts us a really long time. This is just the Sainsbury's Taste Your Own regular one. Picked up this bottle of white wine. This is the Phantom River Sauvignon Blanc from Chile. It's a Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. I always find Chile and white wine is absolutely delicious, and Sainsbury's have such a good selection of uh, red, white, and rosé wines and spirits. This one was on special for five pounds, so I thought I'd give it a go, like I say. I love a Sauvignon Blanc. And then this one is a Bordeaux Rosé. Now this is a Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. Um, produced and bottled in the, the where is it? The French Von Val de Livion. <laughs> Guys, my French is absolutely dreadful. But it's a Bordeaux Rosé. And this again was on special for £5. So these were kind of like on the ends of the aisles. So I thought, let's give them a go. Now, as you know, myself and Zara do enjoy a cocktail. And this Smyrna Vodka is actually on special for £12. And I do need some of it to go in the tomato pasta sauce for the vodka pasta sauce. So I thought, if I could put it in food, we could also have it to go on the bar cart. Trust me, this will last us. I mean, we're not big vodka drinkers at all. But I got some of that to obviously go in the sauce. So, you know, and that was on special for £12. So that is all of this done. That's a lot. Oh, also, French fries. <laughs> I forgot to mention these. It's the only frozen thing we got just to have with our uh, gyros, like the Greek wraps. So yeah, that's all of our fruit and veg. As you can tell, quite a lot because we are vegetarians. Yeah, very happy with that lot. And then this is the more exciting selection. This is all of our dairy pastas and treaty bits. So um, let's start with dairy. Dairy is something that we are trying to work on cutting down, but we do have a lot of cheese and yogurt, but um, we are definitely trying for sure. So um, I'm gonna start at the back. We've got a, oh, just do excuse my shoes. <laughs> We've got a big tub of double cream. This is for the pasta sauces, even in the tomato pasta sauce. I picked up some puff pastry. This is what we're gonna use the mushroom wellington to like wrap it in. Uh, this is Sainsbury's own and it's so good. We've got 12 eggs, we use these for bacon, we also use these for, you know, pretty much everything. Bagels, avocado on toast with poached eggs, always buy free range if you can guys, super important. We also picked up some of this natural yogurt, a big old tub of natural yogurt, this is from Sainsbury's own brand. Really, really nice, we have it on a morning with granola. And then this Greek yogurt is traditional Greek yogurt. Well, it's Greek style yogurt, and this is what we're gonna to use to make the gyro flatbread. So you need a whole tub of Greek yogurt to go in that. I also picked up some of this. This is the vanilla clotted cream Jude's ice cream. This is so, so good. It's on special in Sainsbury's for £2.50, so I'm very excited to try this. It's literally, I've had the salted caramel one, so the classic vanilla is gonna be a dream. I also picked up some ricotta. So as I said, we're gonna do ricotta stuffed uh, spinach and ricotta conchiglioni. So I've got two tubs of that. I also got some of this Leon hummus, which, oh, if you've ever been to a Leon, guys, they are delightful, but look how good this hummus looks. It's got chickpeas and seasoning on there. Oh my God. Yes, love that. Love a bit of Leon. I also picked up some mozzarella. So we're gonna do a red lentil uh, lasagna. So we've got two lots of mozzarella and a three cheese pasta as well. So one of those is to top that as well. Tatsiki for the flatbreads, as I said. We're gonna do a Greek night. Some dried basil for the seasoning for the gyros. And the last thing is this Italian hard cheese. Now. I think, I could be wrong, yes, this is actually vegetarian. A lot of you do comment on a lot of my recipe videos saying that um, Parmesan isn't vegetarian, and I know, but the Parmesan that we use is actually vegetarian, and it's got the V on the front. So it's Italian hard cheese, and it doesn't have animal renin in it, so you can still have it. Um, it's not vegan, but it is vegetarian. And this is by Mary Ann's Dairy. Moving on to some random items. These, oh my lord, if you've ever had them, get involved. These are the Richmond meat-free sausages, and guys, I kid you not, these are probably one of the best vegetarian sausages I've ever had. They are so, so tasty. Um, they come in a little box like this, so you get like a little recipe. This is a sausage pasta bake, but genuinely, so good. I also picked up some of this plant 
uh, Greek kebab style fake meat by Vivira. Um, another brand new to Sainsbury's and I think it'll just be really tasty to have with the gyros, the tzatziki, the salad, the wraps, the chips. So I will report back to see whether this is nice. I got some of this boiler in the bag Thai jasmine rice, which is going to be perfect for the Thai red curry. I got some of the Sainsbury's bakery um, plain bagels. These are just good. We toss them on a modern and have them with jam and like eggs or not obviously jam and eggs together, but you know, I just love bagels. Pasta, as you guys know, we love our pasta. We've got uh, three different types of pasta and a gnocchi. <laughs> um, so we got some rigatoni. This brand is so, so good. It's Napolina pasta. It's made in Italy and it's just 10 out of 10. So we've got some rigatoni, arguably probably my favorite type of pasta ever. It's just so good. Uh, we've got some of the gnocchi di pacatata, uh, which is obviously potato gnocchi, Again, super easy, new to Sainsbury's, and you can just, oh, like, gnocchi is so good, so versatile. I think this is pound fifty, so not the cheapest, you can make your own, but this is so good to pop in your cupboard. You can have it with pesto, meat, fish, you can roast it, steam it, boil it, oh, so good. I picked up some of this, this is the Hubbard's Food Store Pasta Shapes. I've never had this pasta in the longest time, uh, so this is what we're going to do with the creamy vodka pasta sauce this evening. This, oh my lord, this is like my favourite thing. Ever. This is the Conchiglioni, which is the larger, um, perfect for oven and baked pasta. This is just a dream. So this is what we're going to do with the spinach and ricotta stuffed pasta shells. Really, really nice. It's the Sainsbury's Taste the Different Variety. We did already have some in the jar, but we didn't have enough, so hence why I got more. So that's it for like pastas and rices. I picked up some of the strawberry Sainsbury's granola. We absolutely fly through this. This is a kilogram bag. Really good sauce of um, whole grain. Very, very delicious. We got four garlic breads. <laughs> I know this is a bit ridiculous, but Zara's family are coming to stay towards the end of the week. So we are gonna be sharing food with them. These were 65 pence for two baguettes. So we picked up four. We're gonna keep two in the fridge, two in the freezer. And this is like the dry store. So we've got some white lasagna sauce for our lasagna, which we're also gonna make with some red lentils. So it's a red lentil lasagna. It is so good. I'll link the recipe down below um, that we made for the red lentil spaghetti bolognese. It's the same recipe. I picked up some Dijon mustard. This is for the mushroom wellington. I also got some of this, which is the Thai red curry paste from Sainsbury's. This is the cheapest that they did in there. It was £1.50. So good. Saves you a host of ingredients, which is perfect. I got one of these Blue Dragon black bean stir fry sauces. Again, we're not planning on having stir fry this week, but they're just good to have in the cupboard as like an easy backup meal to do. And we were pretty stocked up on cans, um, but I just picked up some of these Italian fine chopped tomatoes for the pasta sauce this evening. And then the last few things, we've got some of these tyrols. These are on special sweet chili and red pepper crisps. These and the paprika tyrols are, oh, they're like my favorite thing ever. So, so good. And we also got one of these Mediterranean style vegetable quiches. Uh, we've had one of these before. Sainsbury's own brand and they are so, so good. You can kind of get a little sneak peek in there. We've got some goodness going on. I picked up some of this, which is the Barber's Cheddar Coleslaw. Again, it's the taste difference variety. Really lovely coleslaw. Coleslaw and quiche, it's just, it's a really lovely lunch. Lou roll, don't really need to talk about that. <laughs> we were running out, we came back from holiday and realized we had none, so I've got the essentials. And this, um, I know some of you are eagle-eyed. I included it anyway. These are some pork sausages. Again, these aren't for us. These are for Zara's family. Uh, we're gonna do sausage and mash, as I said. So we're gonna have the meat-free variety. Zara's family do eat meat, so I picked these up. Um, I don't mind cooking meat, absolutely not at all. So they're gonna eat those. And then the last two things are oat milk. So I picked up two of the Oatleys. These are absolutely delicious. A lot of you guys do comment and say that I should make my own. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. These are on special for £1.20, which is really good for Oatly. And then this was £1. This is the Barista Mighty Pea. It's pea and oat milk. It's awesome for froth and form and uh, really good for coffee. It's the barista edition. So obviously you guys know I love my coffee. This is like my pride and joy. So I'll let you know how I get on with this. I've never had it before. Pea milk is, um, it's really popular in the US. So let's give it a try. So yeah, that's all of that. And then that's, that's pretty much it. So it's a big grocery shop. A lot of essentials, a lot of new bits that we've never tried. Really excited about this and this and all of this. So I have the meal plan here that I write before we go shopping every single time. It keeps you on track, keeps you on budget, and makes you not spend more than you need to. Um, so I'm gonna run through everything that we're gonna have this week. So this evening, we're gonna be having the spicy Gigi Hadid vodka pasta, which sounds a bit weird, but honestly, everyone raves about it, so I'm excited to try that. And then tomorrow, which is Saturday, we're gonna have a three cheese veg packed pasta. We've made that before. I'll link that down below. Sunday, we're gonna have a roast dinner. Oh. 
I'm so excited. It's now September. We're coming into roast season. Guys, anyone out there who knows how much I love my roast dinners, makes me very happy. And then we're going to be making gyros with chips. Gyros like a Greek dish. We've just came back from Greece and we never actually managed to get one vegetarian. So we're going to make our own with homemade bread, uh, which will be exciting. We're going to do a spinach and ricotta stuffed conchiglioni, which is one of my favorite Italian pasta dishes. Then we're going to do a red Thai curry with rice. So that's a mouthful. Um, and then we're going to have sausage, mash, and gravy and peas. Uh, that's when Zara's family come to stay. And then we're going to do a red lentil lasagna. So we've got a lot of dishes there. That's six dishes. Obviously, then we've also got lunch and breakfasts included as well. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed that. Again, huge shout out and massive thank you to Sainsbury's for kindly giving me a voucher to pop it in store to try some of their new dishes and new bits and bobs. I'm very excited. I will be reporting back on how everything is, letting you guys know how tasty everything is, which I'm sure it will be. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.